I am Caitlin McElain and I am one of the brewers from Cloudwater Brew Co in Manchester. So, we have been going since 2015, first brew released in 2016. Uh, we quickly became quite well known for our hazy uh, New England style double IPAs, triple IPAs, um, like the really big hoppy beers. Um, but we also have a, a really interesting barrel project going on as well. So it's been great to bring a, a real variety of brews over to Belgium for the festival. Um, What's your capacity right now? So at the moment, how have you been faring uh, with the COVID and, the, and Brexit? <laughs> yeah, how have you been faring? We've been, yeah, we've been doing our best. <laughs> Obviously, Brexit hasn't made it easy, nor has COVID. So we did pull back production uh, quite a bit during lockdown. Uh, so we're reducing our uh, brewing capacity a little bit, but now we're back to the big brews. So on a, on a really big brew day, we can fill a 72 hectolitre tank, and we're trying to do that hopefully about twice a week at the moment, uh, 48 hectolitre on a normal brew day. So definitely uh, ramping up production a little bit now that things are hopefully getting a bit back more to normal. What was your production capacity, say, average normally? So, yeah, as, as I say, normally it's about 48 hec per day. Um, so over a year? Over a year. Well, uh, yeah, I was just trying to figure out what's your, you know, because most brewers list the, okay, that's okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm quite new, I've only been there a year. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and what's your background? How did you come? Are you fresh out of home brewing or brewing school, or what is it? So uh, my beer journey actually began working behind a bar um, while I was at uni. Um, got really into like all the Belgian beers, all the American beers. Uh, didn't really know that I could make it until joining Brewhouse and Kitchen, starting an apprenticeship, which I finished back in August. So uh, took two years of study, and I just really can't imagine doing anything else. It's honestly feels like living the dream. So yeah, here I am. And Cloudwater, it's grown so much and become a really established craft brewer in the UK and worldwide. Uh, how does it feel to be on a, on a roll? I guess there's so many craft brewers coming out that uh, the competition's heavy. The competition is, yeah, it's really heavy. Um, even like breweries in the UK, there are so many breweries like producing really incredible beer. So it's very much a case of just constantly looking at where we can improve, uh, where we can make like tiny changes on our recipe. No, no recipe is ever like really truly done. Um, we're always just kind of changing up hop combos, maybe looking at like yeast fermentation temperatures, the really tiny things that we can just maybe tweak to make it just that little bit better and just make sure that we're always trying to be at the top of our game. <laughs> What's your favorite brew to style to brew? My favorite style? Yeah, what, they must have brought you on for something at Cloudwater or My... is it barrel or what? Or are you in the process of learning the whole business? So, I have a real soft spot for lagers and for West Coast IPAs. I'm a real fan of like beers that remind me of um, the, the beers I was drinking when I first got into beer back in like 2014, 2015. Uh, the beers that were popular back in the day. So yeah, West Coast IPAs are a big one for me. But honestly, I'll drink anything. And I have a huge love for the, for the barrel program that we have going on at the moment. So um, yeah, we're coming out with some really cool, exciting beers um, and barrel aged imperial stouts. Uh, wild fermented sour beers, um, big love for that kind of thing, yeah. And in terms of diversity, there's been a lot of controversy over the diversity ratio and of course gender uh, in the brewing industry. Uh, and I think Cloudwater is one of the ones that have been uh, you know, uh, thinking of that for a while. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what's, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, is it good? Is it bad? Is it fair? So I think the industry in general has a lot of work to do. Uh, where we are at the moment is not where we want to be as an industry and I think everyone needs to play their part in driving change. So at Cloudwater I feel so, so fortunate to be in a brewery where it's 50-50 men and women and we have quite a strong kind of diversity and inclusion policy. Um, and that's a really nice environment to be working in. It's something that like, I feel shouldn't matter, but it kind of does. Like Being able to look out on the brew floor and just see that there's loads of other women working with me, uh, it's a really, really nice environment to be in. But of course, like we can never just rest on our laurels and say, you know, we've done what we can do now. It's always a case of moving forward and taking the next step and seeing how we can promote inclusion, not even just in Cloudwater, but in the industry as a whole. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, guys. And uh, drink great beer. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you.